Hello everybody, it's Steve, and welcome to a new game on the channel as we head into November 2020. This is Frostpunk. This game has taken quite a bit of my old workhorse's uh, abilities, but I'm going to do what I can, muddle into this game. I do want to get my feet wet with it, so we're going to be trying this game out. Let me try a few games out uh, as we go through this week. This week is a bit of an experimentation. There's a bunch of games on sale on the Steam store, so I'm going to do a, uh, a few games this week. Civ 6 I'm going to put on the back burner. For the moment, um, kind of gauge everyone's interest with uh, Frostpunk, a couple of the games that I picked up whilst they were on sale. So, I have not played this game before. I've watched a few uh, other gameplays of it. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, it's definitely a... It has that surviving Mars, surviving the aftermath feel where we're going to be dealing with extreme cold and trying to survive the elements and keep our people from, you know, dying. Oh, let's go ahead. I've already um, adjusted the sound settings a bit, so it's not going to be blowing out my microphone as we go through this. Um, if we start dropping a lot of frames, um, that may put a quick end to this video, but I'm still going to give this one a shot as best I can. Let's go ahead and start up a new home. I believe this is the tutorial for the game. we got a little tip here. When there's no food, people come hungry, then starving, and they'll die. Kind of a helpful hint right there. So yeah, definitely just keep people warm seems to be the main thing with this. When Hopers discontent started to handle for all abilities that affect them, okay. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. Rulers of old, stripped for pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, we've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Very visually stunning, uh, that little intro. One quibble I have, if there's been this massive Ice Age event, why not go south? Why not cross the English, the English Channel's frozen over, cross over into France, work your way across France down toward the Mediterranean. If the Mediterranean's frozen, move into Africa. I mean, traditionally you think about it, the diurnal cycle is more extreme up north toward the poles than it is toward the equator uh, case in point if you live in the northern united states or northern europe you live in, you know i'd probably say north of about 45 50 degrees of latitude or south of that you have pretty big swings when it comes to day night cycles closer to the equator you're probably not going to get more than 15 hours of sunshine or uh of day or night in a given year 
That's just a quibble. Just moving on. A new home. We have fled from London across the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to read the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. I'm keeping a very close eye on my frames as I'm going through this, so I'm, I'm keeping an eye on that for you. Alright, so we're going to have a lot of the pop-ups during this because this is, like I said, my first playthrough on this. Uh, we need to get the generator working. It provides heat to other to power other buildings without it will freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay, and I'm going to pause here because I need to, i got to figure this all out. The stockpiles, we have zero of 900 coal. We have raw food. We have food rations. Steel, wood, and steam cores. That's much we put, what you have. Okay, and over here we have wood crates. Steel. Build a coal mine to start the extraction. Okay, there's there's the map moving. Okay, WSA and D work for me, not like surviving Mars where it didn't work. Okay, so we've got coal way up here. Anything down here? Yep, we got some coal down here as well. I'm thinking maybe... Ooh, there's coal piles. This is perfect. I can get my hands on that stuff. Wood crates, wood crates. I'm gonna see if there's any like coal piles I can find near what I've got. Damn. Okay, I was kind of hoping they'd all be in one area. I think. Let's see how we do this. A coal pile requires at least one worker. Put seven on that. I guess ten here. You gotta help do no I'll just do normal game speed. So we have tents. This takes ten wood. So you can see the people forging out into the snow. This mantle, okay. Build a street. So a street could actually be done. Actually, it probably would make sense to actually go all the way out to this, but these guys will forge a path of their own. Make that happen. We have the Book of Laws. Alright, so... Food added to soup, fighting arena, child labor. I know there's something there. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with those when we get to it. And they also have the economy. Okay, so, what, so the generator needs... 200 so let's actually max this out we'll get 15 on that and then we'll also just max this out for 15 as well um how many people do we have we have 80 we also need to get them moving okay, b is the build menu the medical post cookout a hunter's hut resources so the gathering post okay so we can do a street down here let's actually do that let's work a street Build a street there, and then we'll do a gathering post. Kind of like here, I guess? Or no, here. Actually, we should probably wait till the street's actually finished, then we'll do that. Um, probably want to do a street out this way, too. Now let's we'll start working on tents. Of course I built that thing. And of course, I put that street in the absolute worst spot. Okay. So we got 15 children prohibited. We've got 13, uh, wait, 13 idle workers. So I guess we'll do... I'm going to do this. Wait. Oh, wait. Whoops. I forgot there were two coal. I didn't realize there were 
kind of forgot there were two coal piles. So we got a street being built here, and I'll put a gathering post in this area too. But the tents, that's going to put some people... Yeah, lack of shelter. That's definitely going to be a dip problem for a bit. And apparently shift-clicking does not work for me. Um, that's a old surviving Mars thing, so I just got to do WASND for the moment. Um, I'm keeping this temperature on Celsius. Uh, that's kind of used everywhere in the world except the United States. A way to think about temperatures, every 5 degrees C is 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So minus 20 C is about 1 or 2 below 0 Fahrenheit. Okay, we need... Let's actually, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to build another tent here, and then I'm going to build the gathering post right behind it. Okay, we don't have enough wood for it. So I can't even plan stuff until I get it. I should not have built this far out. But there's also wood crates we can do here. Let's actually, let's actually do that, and then I guess five engineers on the wood pile. We can need as much as we can. We've almost, wow, we very quickly got most of this up. We still have a lot of homeless folks, and we're going to get that taken care of, too. Uh, how many wood crates do we have here? 83. I know there's uh, the opportunity for a lumber mill once you get a little more advanced. Oh, here we go. A word of advice. Workers needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this problem is to put our children to work. So we can consider chi signing the child labor law. Um... Will allow the children to be employed in safe places like cookhouses and hothouses. Um, children can work in safe workplaces, hope will slightly fall, and child workers can be injured in accidents. We go for child shelters. Uh, children will be safer if they stay in shelters and won't cause any mischief. Hope will rise, providing all children with a place in a child shelter provides a permanent hope bonus, and of course I'll have to build it. I'm okay actually doing the child shelters. Um, granted, this is going to easily blow up in my face, but what the hell. Okay, so we need 20 wood and 5 steel for that. So we're going to need to get our hands into this stuff. But I'm definitely going to do the gathering post first. Because that is going to be able to gather this stuff that much faster. Um, oh, we can turn the generator on. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, now we get a little pop-up on temperature. Food. The generator hums with a reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of cold reserves. Now, food. There will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and a cookhouse to prepare meals. So, secure, build a hunter's hut or a hothouse and build a cookhouse. So, we're going to start off by doing the gathering post. And the plan right now is I can probably pull some of these workers off. Because we've got What do you what's your consumption per day? You need six coal to turn this on. So go with the temperature overlay. So if it's here, it's comfortable. Uh, these ones are all livable. And then you got the chilies in here, the cold, very cold and freezing. Uh, consumption. Yeah, we're doing 144 per day. Gonna turn off that overlay. We got 40 still homeless, so let's go ahead and build that child shelter if we can. Oh, perfect. It fits right there. That actually worked out much, much better than I hoped it would. Um, we're very low on wood right now, but getting this built is gonna be super helpful. Oh, wow, they're building both of them simultaneously. That's awesome. All right, so we need to also get a hunter's hut and a cookhouse. What do we have here? Okay. Um, I'm gonna do. I'll provide some shelter because it's gonna give me. It's gonna give me some hope. We also need to get a shitload of tents built very quickly. And also, this will house some kids. It also gives me, what, two days? Yeah, two days to get it done. 
Uh, what now? And I have heard in this game there is what's called the death spiral, where if you don't get things done fast enough, it causes a lot of problems. All right, cool. Hope rises. That did not work for kids. Damn. We got 15 uh, children in there. Oh, this clicked on a person. And right, what time is it right now? Okay. It's 9 p.m., so we're not going to be able to do much the rest of the day. What is this? Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. If you, you don't have to agree with everything they ask for, if you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Bear that in mind. Yeah, I'm going to pull... Oh, perfect. And this will max it out. So this will actually automatically collect. But it is nighttime, so we're going to go ahead and go through the night. Then as soon as people start working again... Oh, illness and healthcare. Another pop-up. Oh, camera controls. That's helpful. Okay, so the number of sick and gravely ill people, medical post, care house, and infirmary. We do have a sick person, so we're going to need, at some point, to build a medical facility. And that's just a medical post. We need 25 wood. For that, we also need to do that, so we're going to need 48... Wow, we're going to need a lot of wood. Alright, so it's... We go ahead and speed up until we get to the day. Oh wow, it's nice, it just dropped into normal speed. Okay, so we're gonna see temperature drops, and this is helpful. Up here at the top, you can see the temperature influence that we're gonna see. It also is zero of 80 unemployed. I may have to move my head. Um, okay. We got people who are happy. I'm gonna do a uh, gather wood. The priority. Day night cycle, we already had that. Coal stockpile, we're at 203. This uses how much a day? Using 144 a day. Okay. So I think we need to do another round of tents. Buy two more tents for folks. Of course, we need wood for that. And I do want to get that done in the next couple of days because we're going to see a big time drop in temperature. Well, let's zoom in. Let's see how our folks are doing down here. Work time. Get moving. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you heard that. It said work time. Get moving. So it's 8 o'clock. We're going to start gathering uh, more wood. I probably could deprioritize the steel. Let's go ahead and take five off that, put more on there, because I think the, the wood is absolutely important right now. We don't need a ton of steel at the moment. Okay, we can introduce a new law. I'm going to hold off on that for the moment, though. Let's go ahead and get a tent. It has to be adjacent to a street, seriously. I should have built another row of streets down in here. All right, that was a problem. That was a goof on my part. Okay, let's actually do a street first. So this is... Yeah, it's going to take 10 wood for that. And don't have enough wood for another tent. Hmm. I, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. There's a lot of... This is a big balancing act I'm feeling with this game so far in getting everything built up and things like that. Hopefully these folks who are... carrying resources... Okay, looks like they're going to build that up. 
what I'll probably do as well. Build the street around. There we go. Still trying to learn this stuff, because usually when I play these games, like, okay, just put the buildings willy-nilly wherever you, they need to go, kind of like surviving Mars. This one, you actually have to have road access. So it's giving me that sim vibe a little bit, so we need to, let's go, like, oh, yeah, you need to have this and this and this. There we go. So once the streets are built, and we are bringing in a bunch of wood and a bunch of coal as well, there's about two days worth of coal. And O is the temperature overlay. So everybody's, you know, I mean, very comfortable, very low risk of falling ill. It's people who are working out there, it's a little cold. I don't want to go super, super fast during this. I'm trying to figure this all out. If relevant laws are passed, I'll search with research and healthcare. Hang on a minute. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Children from Charlottesville help at medical facilities. Help at workshops. Okay. That's helpful. Go back. That's going to be really neat in the future. Emergency shift. No. Fighting arena. No. Food additives. Sawdust meal. Oh my god. And you can see there's stuff further out on this. I'm not going to do anything with the laws right now until I absolutely have to. I think I'm good on that front. Okay, everybody's working. That's good. Hopefully this road will be built. Ah, oh, great. We already got a new thing. Oh, I think, remember I said I wasn't going to plan on passing any new laws. Here we are. We're going to pass a new law, it looks like. Oh. A note of thanks, we just wanted to thank you. Back in London, it was the only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world you're creating, we can see that things will be different. Hope will rise even more slightly. That's kind of cool. And I know discontent, if discontent goes like super, super big, then everything goes and we all, we all die. I know that is one of the things um, in this game. Let's go ahead and... Wood crates depleted. Okay, that one's this one here. I think what do we got? You know, 78 in this one. Max that out. We got 10 folks looking for gerbs. Okay, good. I'm seeing roads being built. This is helpful. Okay. Now that's a lumber mill, I think, way down here we have to do. Coal pile, coal pile, coal pile. Let's max out the, uh, the folks over there. Hmm. Okay. We've got just over a day to do that, and then we've also got to do the hunter's hut. And we can definitely employ people in there. Oh, wow. Did not realize that was 84 wood. So let's do a... 15 raw food per day. That's, wow, that's a big building. Let's go ahead and build a street between these two. And then we'll do... I do want to put a medical post down also. Oh, damn it. That was the end of it. So those five people who are unemployed, I can definitely send them off to do stuff. All right, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna very fast this. We're gonna speed speed through. All right. So we got some people housed. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to pull pull those guys off. I'm actually going to do this because I want to get more food coming in. And then we can also do a cookhouse. We do have a lot of people getting sick as well. Let's go ahead and prioritize that medical post that I was talking about. 
Kind of want to keep that near the main uh, near the main strip, but I think we can put it right back here. Okay, where are you guys going? I think these folks are the hunters that are heading out. Let's go ahead. We got 44, so we're running low there. I guess they come up over here or something. Oh, there's wood crates. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna just do none for the steel at the moment and just kick this up. There's another set of wood piles over here, and I'll probably take a road out to that. Oh, what is that there? Did anybody else see that? What was, what was down here? That was weird. Okay, I keep I, I keep hearing these sounds like, oh wait, what just happened with the game? It's like, no, no, it's just the game giving me a notification. Alright, so we got a medical post being built in a cookhouse. Go put a cookhouse back here, because it does provide some heating. And also, most of my people are living kind of in this quadrant, so it makes sense to actually kind of put it down there. Yeah, let's put it there. And then I can get some more people working on these wood piles, or, even better, drop a gathering post. Okay. Okay, so it can gather from all of these things. Let's let the street be built. Once the street's built, I'll go ahead and drop a gathering post down. And that should, keyword, work. Also, I can just have them just go straight into the crates, straight into the pile. There's at least one worker. Got it. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm seriously derping here. I don't need to have this going. I can just pull these guys all off. They're just burning through these uh, resources that much faster. All right, I'm learning. This is good. This is good. We're going to have a massive temperature drop tomorrow. How much coal do I have? Quite a bit, but not a lot. Let's see what a gathering post in this area would do. If I do it over here, i got the coal mines available for it. I do I think that? And then gathering post here. More coal piles, okay. I probably could, just should should actually cancel this road. Can I cancel? Dismantle street. Aha. Uh -huh. right. I'm gonna keep that for the moment, because our people can trudge through the snow to get that stuff. Okay. Oh, we have somebody dealing with the hunger, which is why I'm trying to get this cookhouse going. We don't have any available workers to do this? Alright. I'm going to put those 15 workers off of this, because it's already being gathered up. There's only 14 left anyway. Yeah, we need to get some food going. We also need to deal with some homelessness. I'm close to the 30 minute mark. All right. Um, hmm. I mean, there's a lot you can dig into with this game. Trust me, I know this. Uh, seeing the other playthroughs I've done, I know it gets really sticky what you can and what you can slash should do or shouldn't do. I think about maybe putting the kids in the medical building because we need to get these two addressed. Much different than Surviving Mars. I'm going to give it that. Um, 
the play style does feel kind of similar, but how the issues come up one after another, after another, after another, after another, that's what's going to be doing it for me. Let's put some engineers in there. This person is sick but being treated, sick but being treated. Doesn't have any shelter. How many kids do I have in, the, in this colony right now? Cool, we got that done. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You will need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Wow, um, this seems like a very appropriate place to put a cut in. Um, not gonna lie, we've got... Okay, oh wow, we got rid of all of that. Okay, cool. So, before we wrap up the video, let's go ahead and build a new gathering post. We'll go ahead and build that up because there's uh, some stuff right here. There's some steel wreckage, there's some wood crates. We've got a hunting crew coming back. Okay. Let's go ahead and... How do I demolish this? Let's see. Salvage the building. Cool. Okay. So we can make these a temporary thing. That is bitchin'. Um, yep, we got a lot of people hungry, but we're, still, we're working on food. Alright then. I think that's a really good place to put a cut in here. Um, yeah, I, I actually think I want to keep doing this video. Uh, let me know in the comments section. Um, I'm probably going to do this video... Uh, I'll probably keep going. I'll probably do another round of this. I'll record uh, episode two right away and just do maybe this week. I want to get your feelings for this. And then um, if this is something that you want to see more of on the channel, you got to let me know. You got to let me know in the comment section, like, share, subscribe, comment. I want the feedback on this because I want this channel to keep growing. I'm really close to a thousand subs. That is a goal for me for this year. And this, I think, can uh, help the channel grow. So again, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.